Hello! You made it to the fourth stop in the journey to publish a project in web. I'm Loco, and this is Noko, and today we're sharing our sock wisdom on hosting. Dinner parties? No knucklehead web hosting! Yeah, I knew that. Don't judge me, I'm just a sock puppet. Your brain is made of knuckles too, you know. That's true, actually. But yes, Vev standard hosting is the perfect option if you want to make your project the primary piece of content accessible on a specific domain or subdomain. Heads up, standard hosting is not the right fit if you want to embed your Vev project in a web page created outside of Vev, you want to access your Vev project through a path on an existing website, you have a complex setup for hosting, or you want to set up Vev on your own servers. As a tech agnostic tool, Vev does have various other hosting options to suit those needs, including webhooks, SFTP, Amazon S3 Bucket, FTP, and FTPS. So many letters! Devs, they'll do anything to say fewer words. Okay, back to standard hosting. To start, similar to a dinner party, you're going to want to bring something with you. What's that? A domain. Like wine from Burgundy? Oh my god, I'm talking about the address of your website! Right. Vev is not a domain register, but you are free to use any DNS provider of your choice to obtain and manage your domain name. Okay, now we're ready to set up your standard hosting. From editor.vev.design, click on the profile icon in the top right corner, then select hosting. So far, so good. Next, you'll click on add domain to be redirected to the custom domain page. You can enter a domain or subdomain here, but be sure to include the www in front of a primary domain. Yeah, that's a really important step in order to properly connect your website to Netlify, our web hosting platform. Next, you'll select standard hosting and flip the access switch if you want to share the custom domain and hosting with your entire team. Then hit add domain. Next up, we have the domain settings. You have the option to add a domain path, but it's optional and we're going to leave it blank. Before you can connect your domain, you'll need to create the DNS record. That just means that your DNS provider needs some information from Vev first. Copy the CNAME or A record in the table and visit your DNS provider to add the information. We recommend that you search for how to create a DNS record for your specific DNS register. Once you've done that, come back into Vev and hit connect domain. It might take up to 24 hours for the connection to be completed. Once connected, you'll see a green label on the domain settings page that says connected. Once the connection is complete, you're all set to publish your project. Join us for the next tutorial, where we'll be covering Vev's integrations. If you want to dive deeper into any of the topics we've covered, visit Vev's Help Center.